The President and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, His Excellency Dr. William Kipchichir Samoy Ruto. The Deputy President, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa. His Excellency the Prime Cabinet Secretary, um, Saliam Davadi. The speakers of the houses present today, our Attorney General present, the chairpersons of respective commissions, and our commissioners present, and the chief executive officers present today. Good afternoon. This afternoon, Your Excellency, the Constitution Commission's and independent offices that were established by the Constitution in the year 2010 have been discharging their specific individual mandates as stipulated in the Constitution. There are around 21 Constitution Commissions and independent offices, and each of them is represented by its commissioners and chief executive officer and the chairpersons, Your Excellency. As we commonly call ourselves, Your Excellency, CCIOs, our common objective is to protect the sovereignty of the people of Kenya, secure observance of democratic values and principles, and all state organs and promote constitutionalism. Your Excellency, in 2012, the chairpersons of constitutional commissions and holders of independent offices came together and formed the Chairs Forum that is collaborative and consultative, so that Your Excellency, together we would sit down and be able to organize our thoughts and ensure that we execute our duties. Your Excellency would like to appreciate you today because among the first duties that you carried out in the office of the President of the Republic of Kenya was via Executive Order Number 1 of 2022. In October, Your Excellency, you remembered that constitutional commissions and independent offices need space in your office, the presidency. And through that, Your Excellency, you are able to advise the commissions through the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya to be able to work in your government, to be able to have a liaison that then would help us, Your Excellency, in budget implementation of our recommendations, among other things, Your Excellency. We appreciate you for that. I believe, Your Excellency, for you to have done that, it is because, Your Excellency, in your time as the Deputy President, you are able to engage with the commissions. Your Excellency, just to jog your memory, we invited you to Kericho County in 2019. And you came, Your Excellency, and pledged to support the CCILs in the execution of their duty. I believe we are privileged as commissions to have that space within the presidency that then we are able to bring our issues and ensure, Your Excellency, we perform our duties as we should. Thank you, Your Excellency, for doing that for us. Your Excellency, as I finish, I would like to say this. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision to reality. And Your Excellency, you are one of the people in this country that has been able to translate your vision because I've worked with you, Your Excellency, for quite some time. And I know that vision that you have for this country is going to be. So Your Excellency, with those few remarks, allow me to request our chair, of chairs. Within the chairs forum, Your Excellency, we have two people who are the officials. The chairperson of the constitutional commissions and independent offices, and we also have the vice chairperson, who is yours truly. With that, Your Excellency, allow me to request our chairperson of chairs to come and speak and take us through the program. Thank you, Your Excellency. Welcome, Mr. Otachi. 